Rape is not funny. On a related note, Mr. Cool has to stop showing these chicks what he's working with. It's a young samurai, I smoke a split in a cup, and I pass a lot to my bro. No fuck with my flow. Couple bad bitches in a cup of that show. So it's just THC. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Hey, before the video even start, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Alright, so I'm very sad to report. Sad for the victim, not sad for the accused. There's a difference. I'm very sad to report that Mystical has been accused once again of raping another woman. This time, he's been accused of raping 26-year-old Averon Holman. I think that's how you pronounce her name. There has been evidence that was collected that matches Mystical by the Sheriff, Sheriffport Police Department. And he's been charged with the October 22nd, 2016 rape of Miss Holman. So, this has been a, a little while in the making. They have obviously dotted all their I's and crossed all their T's and has decided that they're going to they're gonna move on with this case because he's been arrested. A friend of Mysticals was also arrested and has been held on $200,000 bail. Well, I, I don't, I'm not sure if they bailed out yet. That's what the bail was set for. So I'm going to have to check into that a little bit more, see if they've actually made bail. But their bail is $200,000, so they're going to have to pay $20,000 to get out, unless it's just only cash. Well, anyway, uh, her name is Tanisha Warford, and she's 42, of Hawken Heights, Texas. She was charged with first-degree rape after the fact. She was an accessory to the crime because, allegedly, she tried to get the victim to retract her story. Okay, just so we could be clear on what she's being charged with. If you rape a woman and then you call someone else to try to convince them to wait, the, then the, late, the person that you raped goes to the police and makes a police report. Let's just be clear on that. They have made a police report. They went to the police. They made a police report. Then you contact them, the third party. And try to get them to retract their story that they had previously made to the police. You are now putting yourself involved in the crime. Because if a crime actually happened and you try to pressure somebody into not coming forth. Or after they have already come forth with retracting the statement that they made. Because you know the statement that you make to the police. That goes to the courts. When you go to trial and they're talking about the case. Police reports go to the court. <laughs> so when you have an individual that tries to convince you to change your statement that you made to the police, that's against the law to try to convince somebody to tra change the statement that they've made to the police. As far as um, to retract the statement that they made, either because you're threatening harm to them or any kind of repercussions. Like, I I'm guessing that you could just say, well, you're lying. That's you can't be held accountable for telling somebody that they're lying because you don't believe them. But if you know that said act actually did happen and you're trying to pressure an individual to change their story to the police, you are now an accessory after the fact. And that's what happened to the young lady. And well, she's 42, but she's still a young lady, right? We don't let's see how she looks first, I guess. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> anyway, that's foolishness. And she shouldn't even got herself involved in the in the in the in the in it altogether. But we have to also remember that Mystical has a he has a history of raping women. That's why he had just did some time in prison. I believe he did about six years. And his the prior rape that he was um convicted for, I can't remember if he was convicted or if he took the uh plea deal, was he had a manager and she was stealing money from him. And upon her stealing money from him, he decided that he was going to rape her or take it out of her in sex or whatever the case is with him and a couple of his buddies. And that's actually why he previously went to jail. That's the charges that he went to jail with and the excuse that he gave previously. Anyway, so um, 
I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Like, it sounds to me like this guy, first of all, let's just be honest, in the music industry, there's like a ton of like craziness going on. And a lot of times these guys think that they could do the things that they do behind closed doors to people that's not involved in the music industry. When you're involved in the music industry or just a celebrity in general, you're just in a different area and they do lots of stuff that in normal society we do not consider to be uh, the way that you're supposed to conduct yourself. And so what gets a lot of these guys in char in trouble, um, because I don't see women getting in trouble for this, but a lot of these guys in trouble is, my belief is, they try to transfer what they're doing in the music industry over to the things that, that, that regular civilians are doing and regular citizens are doing. And they try to do these things with regular civilians and regular citizens, and that's basically where they're getting themselves in trouble at. That's just my belief. Anyway, leave your comments down below. I want to know what y'all guys think about this, as always. What y'all guys think about this is way more important to me. What I think about this, because I know what I think about this. So like, comment, subscribe. Join that notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. I love y'all. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out.